In East Texas, football stars are like oil wells or cattle ranches. There's one down just about every road. Games under the Friday night lights serve as a beacon for just about every boy in the state. But it is not a place you'd expect to find a football star of this variety. By Dempsey, the Texas tornado. Meet Clint Dempsey, the man who has soccer fans from Angola to Tobago trying to pronounce Nacogdoches. But his small hometown is just one reason this 23-year-old midfielder for the U.S. national team stands out. Clint brings something to the team that pretty much nobody does. He is a dervish of creative moves on the field. A fountain of freestyle rhymes off of it. What was once a way to kill time on long road trips has made him soccer's Eminem. But rap is just one outlet of self-expression. His goal celebrations are another. I think it's fun, man. I think fans want to see that. They want to see you just as excited as they are about the goal that's being scored. His exuberance becomes all the more endearing when you discover the grind he's endured to get here. Growing up in a trailer with four siblings, Dempsey learned the game from the children of migrant workers out in the pasture dust. Seeing his talent and desire, his parents put a quarter million miles on the family car so he could play in a decent league in Dallas, three hours in each direction for every practice. As far as materialistic things, everything as far as what we had purchased came to a halt. But he wasn't the only athlete in the family. His older sister showed promise on the tennis court, and Clint had to give up his trips to pay for hers. The sacrifice was a huge blow to the emerging soccer star, but nothing compared to what came next. His sister Jennifer died of a brain aneurysm at the age of 16. That is her grave in Clint's music video, and it was here he made a promise. Every goal he scored would be dedicated to her. There's no doubt that she won't be there at this World Cup. She's gonna be right there with him, and uh, when he scores that goal, that's who he's gonna know was there with him. And, uh, and we all will. That's my main motivation, man, my family, because you know throughout my life they've been there for me, and I just wanna be the, be the person that's always there for them as well, you know? Goal celebrations are a precious commodity at the World Cup. The U.S. team was blanked in its first game against the Czechs. But regardless of how the team plays against powerhouse Italy later today, Clint will carry a quiet satisfaction, rare in a person with so much competitive drive. It's just been a great experience, and hopefully it continues. And if not, you know, I could, I could still, you know, after this World Cup, still die a happy man to say that the biggest goal that I've set in my whole life is accomplished. And I don't think a lot of people can say that in their lifetime.